Hey there everyone. Uh, this video uh, is a little bit different than uh, my typical videos, um, but it's uh, just something I, I thought maybe I'd share with you. Um, went to some garage sales today, um, and part of the time I took uh, one of my nephews with me, and uh, he saw a bunch of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards at a, a garage sale. There were two bags of them, um, marked two dollars each. Um, originally I told him, uh, you know, uh, we'll go to some more garage sales. If you don't find something you like better, we'll come back and get it. Um, so I, I went back uh, a couple hours later and I got uh, the two bags of Yu-Gi-Oh cards for three dollars. So three dollars for all of them. Um, now I used to collect uh, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, all, all sorts of different card games when I was younger. Um, and when I outgrew them, uh, I sold I sold them. I sold a lot of the cards on eBay. Um, but uh, I found that an easy way to do this, uh, to, to liquidate the cards in a manner of speaking, um, is there's websites that have their buying lists. And you can uh, go through their buying lists and you can uh, sort your cards and go through your cards and, and you know check off which ones you have. And then you can, you know, print a shipping list or, or a list of all the ones you have that you're sending them. So I did that. I went through these cards. Um, these are all the ones that I'm going to send back to my nephew. And these two little packs of them are the, the ones that I'm selling. So for these ones right here, um, selling to the website, I'm getting uh, about just over $45. So I spent $3 and right here I'm getting uh, $45 back. Now I do have to pay shipping, so uh, making just under forty dollars on these, which is incredible for only having spent three dollars. It it does take quite a bit of time though to sort through these and uh, figure out which ones they want. Um, and in a, additionally, you know, I'm sending all these ones back to my nephew for him to to play with. Um, but I could have sold these cards uh, to the website. Um, at a bulk price since they aren't ones that they were specifically paying a uh, higher price for and I could have made another twelve dollars selling these to them and and of course that would uh, make me have to use a larger package would increase my shipping costs um, so I wouldn't make exactly twelve dollars but um, you know he made he made me almost forty dollars by making me buy these might as well give him twelve dollars worth of cards um, I think he deserves that so you know, he'll have fun playing with those. Um, you know, the, you can do the same thing uh, with Pokemon cards, Magic the Gathering cards. Um, I've, I've sold them all uh, to, to the same site, uh, trollandtoad.com. And uh, it's, you know, it takes some time to sort through the cards, but um, definitely worth it. You know, it's not, it's not too big of a package. It's not going to cost me too much to ship those. Um, and I'm going to make a decent profit on these so just uh, heads up when you see you know a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon or any kind of card game uh, cards at a, a garage sale it might be something worth picking up and uh, selling and you know again I, I know this video is quite a bit different than uh, a lot of the other videos I make but um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, all the same um, and if you did uh, go ahead and uh, click the like button down below, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to make those. I'm pretty good about res responding to those. Um, and uh, if you want to see more videos about uh, things like this, but mostly about uh, coin collecting, um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.